home. Or it was home once. Now it is nothing but bone. This is where father and mother left this world. I would have died with them in dishonor, if not for Sigurd. <laughs> mother, if I had followed your orders, would you have lived? Would you and father have triumphed? father first showed me this passage. I was so excited. I won every game of hide and fetch after that. Climbing up here made me feel as high as a raven. Mother used to sing me to sleep by this hearth. Her voice made me feel safe. I have not felt safe since then. Not really. I still remember the smell of the feast. The anticipation of a dinner I never got to eat. I spilled ink on this throne. The stain is still there. In the furs after all these years. <laughs> Father was furious. This room, my old bed, it felt much larger when I was young. A lifetime ago, it seems.
Let's go, Viking! Sail! Catch the wind!
To the Swan Road. Let the sail out! Have you ever seen so many ships docked at once? Never. Thor has to be in a gallery of our kings so large. I've lost races. Does everyone in Alrekstadir play their love game so loudly? No, it's just my husband. He cannot satisfy his wife! Ah, old age. No, he's still young and fit. It was not always so. He could not keep us apart when we were raiding. He would plow you during raids. Our first time was in the middle of a burning village. After a while, the crew made us stop. They said it was... distracting. Love can burn brighter near death. Have you tried revisiting these memories? Yeah, but talking about it is not the same. I need to feel it. Smell it. So you need to bring the excitement of the raid into your bed. You could help us pretend we are raiding. That will make my water flow. Come, we must tell my husband. I was only a... Uh... Well, all right. Grab your weapon, you big, strong vikinger. Today we raid. A raid? Now? Join me in the blood dance. Fill me with your battle lust. Oh, yes, yes. Let us go, Viking. Maybe you could start by breaking things. And scream as you do, like it is really happening. Arousing. Yeah, it does not feel real enough. Maybe you need more fire, like your first time. Yes! Burn down our house! Burn it to the ground!
You have just won your heart's desire, Eivor. Yet by the look on your face, you have lost your will to live. Gorham is here with the last of his men. Why does that troll dare to show his face? Leave it for another day. We are here under Harald's truce, and Gorm is too weak to try anything bold. He's a seed stain on his father's trousers. I should wipe him from this world. Not tonight, Eivor. Leave it. Basim, watch over this one. And see that she warms herself with drink. I will find my father and escort him to the longhouse. As you wish. Is Hytham well? He will heal, but never fully recover. It is fortunate that you were able to succeed where he failed. My resolve was strong. When you slew Kyotve, did you see a sigil on him? Silver? The size of my palm, bearing the symbol of an ash tree? Take it. Trade it for what you can. I know where Gorm is camped. If you wish to see him without anyone the wiser, there is a trick I can teach you. Already looking for another. All right. I'll bite. What do I do? Use your cloak to obscure your face. Blend into the crowd. Divert attention. Hide in plain sight. A gift of knowledge from a man I hardly know. Is this your way of asking me to join your brotherhood? 
Not at all. So long as men and women fight to secure honor and freedom, the religions hardly matters to me. I suppose there's no shame in using deception when honor is at stake. And Gorham is a stain on that honor. Then let's see what can be done to cleanse that stain. Give it a try. I have an a few things you should know before you step into his camp. Walking unseen through hostile territory is an exercise in subtlety. A hood makes you forgettable, dismissed at a distance. Remain far from watchful eyes, and you will be invisible to them. Blade or hammer, for these and other sudden movements can break your disguise. And in case I wasn't clear, you will need to put up your hood for the trick to work. is there, in the camp ahead. Parker, shit! Take up your weapon and follow me beyond these walls. Let Odin's favor land where it may. You dare not break the king's peace here. So fuck you and your god talk. What say you to that? <laughs> <laughs> you can beat me, but you will not kill me. Not under Harald's truce. You are all subject to King Harald's truce. Break his peace and you will be cast out of Alrikstad. I will give you no trouble. You are shed into this world without honor, Gorm, and you will leave as a turd dumped into hell's deepest ditch. Keep crowing, Eivor. You only make yourself an easier target. The Alding will have started. I should find Sigurd.
Tell me Gorm still lives, Eivor. It pains me to say. He does. Thank you. His day will come. Oh, gods. I hate long speeches. Only when you're not giving them. Many of you knew my father, Halfdan the Black. A great man who achieved great things. They buried Halfdan's leg near our temple. The crops have never grown tall. <laughs> they buried his arse near ours, and we get nothing but a muddy river. I dream of something greater. A vast kingdom of warriors in numbers the world has never seen. United under one king, one rule. Too much blood has been spilled fighting one another. Today, we unify. And turn our blades outward to conquer new lands. And who better to lead us to glory than me? I was blotted before the age of ten, and I led the greatest army Norway has ever seen. But they say a wise king seeks honest counsel, so I ask... Who among you rejects this new arrangement? I am not your enemy, King Harald, but I will not be your subject. Tomorrow we sail for greener shores, and so my kingdom is yours. This saddens me, noble Hjor. And does your wife agree? Is she not tired of limping ever westward? My husband and I are as one in this lord. We do not limp together, we fly. I'm sad to lose a woman of your spirit, Juvina, but I hold no grudge. May the fates grant you good luck. My king, I offer you my axe and my oath, ironclad. Gorm Kjotveson, you dare show your face in this hall. Did not King Styrbjorn and his son Sigurd rid our lands of your foulness? The Raven Clan dishonored me, great king. They poisoned my father, Kjotve. They made a mockery of his honorable death. Back out! You lie! Hold, Ava. Let it play out. This is a serious charge, Gorm, and a false one at that. My uncle saw your father die. Ava wolf kissed. You are Kjotve Slayer. This man has slandered your clan. What shall I do with him? I would send him to hell, as I did his father. Understandable. But a quick death is too good for a Draugr like him. Gorm, I name you Worm and call you Exiled. Leave these lands by the next full moon or I will feed you to the crows myself. King Harold, may I speak? The floor is yours, King Stebjörn. My people have held our land since the days when Odin himself walked among us. My kingdom is humble, but we have paid for it in blood. Our victory over Kjotve is proof that we will not lay down without a fight. All here have buried friends, brothers and sisters, sons and daughters. And I, for one, have had my fill of death. Let those who seek war look beyond our shores. If King Harold brings peace, then I am happy to bend my knee to him. What? What in hell's name are you doing, father? Securing a lasting peace, Sigurd. Our days of fighting are finished. You said nothing of this to me. Not a word. And I will not yield a title that should be mine by right! Then war will continue. Men will die, villages will burn, you foolish boy. This is our only way towards true peace. You will die a thrall. You'll drink adult cow. Alone and toothless in a bed of straw. Forgive my son. He is ruled by his emotions. I take no offense, Stebjörn Jarl, and I thank you for your fealty. It is natural to fear chains, to resist it. But all things change and all things end. The lessons of Ragnarok are clear. We will speak again soon.
That was an ambush, Lord. Did you know of Stebion's plans? For some days, yes, I did. But it was not at my urging. It was his decision alone. Do you dream of a glorious future, Eivor? A warrior like you would be a boon to my clan. I dream of a glorious death, but not at the cost of betraying my family. I wish I understood you better. For those I do not understand, I do not trust, and I cannot stomach a lack of trust. You have nothing to fear from me, King Harald. My loyalty lies with my brother Sigurd, and I bear you no ill will. Then know that if you stay in Norway, both you and your brother must serve under me. Take tomorrow to think on this. But let us leave these matters for another time. Tonight, we will eat and drink like gods and wake in a kingdom made new. Harald's colors. He's already marking his territory. Marking? Gods, he's spraying like a horny pup. Harald may be young, but he's clever. Do not underestimate him. He came of age very quickly. doing if you wish to have words come closer
have those if you want them. Anything else? I'm off. Be well, friend. How are you doing, Hytham? You survived a serious blow. I am mending. I will never be the warrior Basim wishes me to be, but I can serve my brotherhood in many other ways. With Chotve dead, will you return to the south? We are going west, in fact. Basim is a tireless crusader. Get some rest before you set out, then. Injured men do not fare well on the open ocean. Of course. Thank you. Are you one of Harald's men? I am. The king wishes to make a survey of the land he now rules. Nothing more. Let me ask, are you one of the conquered? Did Harald take your lands as well? No. My family has lived under his banner since the days of his father, Aftan the Black. Well, welcome to Thornburg, warrior. Sit a while and play, friend. It's Eivor! Open the door! Come in, but keep your voice down. We will alert Harald's men. Where will we live? The English will fight back! The wash will never end! Or the... Two days ago, we rid this land of Kyrtve and his dogs. Yet today, we do not celebrate. Today we cower under a cloud of fear. But it need not be like this. We are not the heel-trodden subjects of a boy king. We are the Raven Clan. Our destiny is our own. Did you know about your father's oath to Harold? I did not. And for that, my anger burns hotter than any man's here. But I will not let that drive me into despair. We cannot stay in Norway. Not under Harald's boot. Not without fueling more war. So we push forward. To newer lands. To England. And there make a new home. A kingdom of our own. The sons of Ra